Welcome back to another video. ASMR video. I will tell you how big Graham's number is. So if you do not know what Graham's number is, it's a very, very big number. So, how big is it? How big is Graham's number? Well, I'll tell you. So, Graham's number is a big number. It's represented by G64. G64 is Graham's number. Well, give me a number. What is a number that's so big that blows off your mind? Is it a million? Is it a billion? Is it Googleplex? Well, not quite. Graham's number beats everything. So, I'll show you what Graham's number actually is. So, to get there, let's start off with 3 to the power of 3. So that's very simple. 3 to the power of 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. That's basic exponentiation. But here, we're not going to represent numbers like this. We're going to represent arrows. Not Sova arrows, but 3. Arrow 3. That is arrow notation. So 3 with 1 arrow, 3. That means 3 to the power of 3. That's 27. That is pretty easy, right? Well, this is called newt up arrow notation. And that's where you represent such big numbers. And this is only one arrow. From now on, I'm going to represent these arrows as Sova arrows because I play Sova and Valorant. And yeah, so let's move on to three with two arrows in between the second three. So three, double arrow three. That means you take these, you split up and single arrows. So three, two arrow three is three. Single arrow three, single arrow three, which equals to three, single arrow, one arrow, and then in parentheses, three arrow three. So if you would compute, computate that, if you would calculate that, it will be three arrow 27 which is, which is 3 to the power of 27. If you recall from one arrow. So that will equal to a big, big number. It is 7.6 trillion. Exactly in the screen. That's how big that number is. 3 with 2 arrows and 3 at the end. To better represent this, it's equal to 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. It's like a tower of 3s. So if you, in other words, another way to say it is if you would see 3 with 2 arrows and another 3. That is, you build a tower with of 3s of the first number and the second number is how high the tower is so you have like a small tower of threes that is three stories high so the left of the left three is the number you're using and the right three is how many stories that tower is and you compute comp calculate from the top of the tower all the way to the bottom so yeah that's how big this number is. Is that Graham's number? It is not. So let's move on. Let's add another sofa arrow. Let's add in three. Arrow, 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 three. Three with three arrows in it. How big is that? Well, it's gonna be really big. I can't even visualize it anymore because 
I'll tell you why. Three with three arrows, silver arrows in between. The three, those threes. That means you split it up, split it up to three, two arrow, three with two arrow, three. Which means you split it up even further with three single arrows, single arrow, three. And how long this chain is, it will be three, two arrow, three. So that means if you see three with three arrows in between that three, that means three up arrow, single arrow, three single arrow, three single arrow, in a chain that is three two arrow three long, which is equal to a chain that is 7.6 trillion units long. If you do not know what that is, if you recall, if you recall, double arrows three double arrow three if you split it up into three double arrow three double arrow three that's like saying that three double arrow 7.6 trillion and if you don't know double arrows mean building a power tower of threes or in this case three which is 7.6 trillion stories high so that's how big this tower is and in order to calculate that you'll have to go to the top of the tower and calculate first 3 to the power of 3 27 then you build your way down to 7.6 trillion and then you'd raise 3 you do 3 raise to the 7.6 trillionth power or something and then you'll take that value and raise it to that result and then you keep going until you reach the bottom of the tower and you'll get that number which is three to three arrow three <laughs> three arrow three that is insanely insanely big still following along i hope you're enjoying this video because it things are just going to start ramping up like crazy apart with that Valorant footage you see in the background that's just for entertainment and for your visual visual thing or something just for your I do not want to show you a black screen so I just showed you some Valorant footage for you to look at while I tell you the facts of Graham's number okay so that's three three hour three that's not even graham's number yet let's try three with four sofa arrows in between three arrow 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 three how big is that number so if you recall three four arrow three means splitting it up into three three arrow three three arrow three which is three arrow the result, which is three three arrow three, that means three three arrow three is three double arrow three double arrow, and that chain. How long is that chain of double arrows? If you do not understand how double arrows work, each double arrow is building a tower. And this tower, this chain of double arrows is how long is this chain? It is three three arrow three. And so each double arrow, you'll have to build a tower. If you re if you would recall, double arrows are building towers of threes. In this case, yeah, three. Each double arrow that you do, you build a tower of threes. So let's start from the beginning of this double arrow chain. So three double arrow three, you build a tower of threes. You take the results, let's say three double arrow three is 27. That, I mean 7.6 trillion. That 7.6 trillion is the result, but that's not it. That tells you, that tells you how high your next tower will be. And so you build, you move on down the chain of the double arrows and you will perform your next double arrow function. You build your, that means you build your next tower, which is 
7.6 trillion stories high. You do you work your way down, you calculate it up from the top, reiterating your exponent exponentiation three ways like that all the way down, and you get a result. And the result is how high your next tower will be. So you move down the chain of double arrows and you do it again. Build a new tower that is that result high. And then you calculate that, but that tells you how high your next tower will be. And you keep making towers. You keep creating your towers and calculating that. And yeah. How many times would you do it? Guess what? You'll have to do it three arrow, 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 three times. That is extremely, extremely, extremely big. And don't forget how big three triple arrow three is. So yeah, that is three, four arrow three. Once you have finished building all of your towers, doing the same thing over and over again, three, three, arrow, three times, you'll get three of arrow, 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 three. So what is that number? Is that Graham's number? It is nowhere. We're not even close to that number yet. In fact, it is the first step of Graham's number after that. Like the first step of the Graham staircase, I would call it. Call that G1. So that is the start of the staircase. If you re if you would recall, G64 is Graham's number. It's that is represented by G with a 64 subscript. And this four arrow, three four arrow three is G1. So how do we get to G64? Well, you take that number, 3, 4, hour 3. That number will be how many arrows are in between the next pair of 3s. Like, so you take like a pair of 3s and you have to shove in 3, 4, arrow 3 arrows inside in between that. So... That is, you put G1 arrows inside between the three, the left and the right three. And don't forget how arrows can really make numbers explode into oblivion. See, if you recall, one arrow, three arrow, three is just 27. Two arrows is 7.6 trillion. And three, three arrows is like already too big. To even to even visualize it, you can't you can't even write it down. And then four arrows, forget about it. So, G one, G two, will be that. So going back to what we are now, you take another pair of threes and you shove in G one arrows in between those. So that's many arrows and you have to calculate that and you'll get a new number called G2. Then you take another pair of threes and you shove in G2 arrows in between those threes and you calculate that. Don't forget the result of G2 is three G1 arrows in between, G1 sofa arrows in between a three, the next three. And so you have G3 after that. Take G3, take another pair of threes, I mean, shove in, shove in G3 arrows. Calculate that G4. You do it, you keep going, keep going. G4 arrows, G5, G5 arrows, G6, G6 arrows in between G7. You do it, keep repeating in a loop all the way up to G64. G64 
G64 is a pair of threes. You shove in G63 arrows inside in between the threes. And now you have Graham's number. How big is that? That's how, that's the best thing. That's the best way you could kind of explain how big because you cannot even write that number down. So, that is the end of this video. It's just kind of a, based on a, three, a theory regarding vertices and n dimensional hypercubes. So, yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you've gotten your tingles. This is kind of a different video as I usually do coding videos on this channel. Maybe some Valorant videos or gaming videos or maybe some vlogs. So have a good day everyone or night if it's nighttime and peace out.